So welcome back here in Galactica Radio and TV International. I'm in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Now I have the pleasure to interview a DJ from the, sa the same hometown where I am as well. So well, it's Arthur Leon. And Hello. Well, his artistic name is Camel. And well, so nice, nice to have you here, Arthur. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I need to thank you a lot for this opportunity. I'm very happy to be here and thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, first of all, you are um you are a young DJ and uh, your style uh, in which you you surf and you like to compose as well with the 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 uh, side trends, right? Yeah, let's I start really like this. Let's start by this. Let's define what is psi trends. Okay, let's go. So you can say that psi trends it's kind of a subgender of EDM electronic dance music, but you can see some difference between them. Uh EDM has a lot of big room sounds and trance. Uh, it's a it's a little bit different, you know. It has its own style. It brings a lot of different uh, sounds from other styles, and you can say that's a union and a mix of everything. And it is really cool. It is like a hype new thing and a very good, a very good style, you know. Yeah, very if different. I, if I say samba reggae, I think that immediately I think that it's a mix <laughs> samba and reggae. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Can... Uh, the same. Can I say that it's a mix of psychedelic music and uh, trance music? Yeah, like you can say that trance uh, brings some techno sounds, some house sounds. And if you search, you will see that uh, trance grew up from Goa. That is another style of music. And it has a lot of unique sounds. What and it is, is like a is mix. Trends? Let's define trends. Let me ask you, what is, let's define trends first, trends music, and then let's define psychedelic music. What is trends music? How can we understand that? So you can understand like uh, some hype, no, uh, and very unique kind of sound. It trends brings a lot of digital analog sounds and it, it brings different uh, styles of of music in itself, you know, it brings different sounds and it is like a psychedelic thing, like psychedelic sound. And it is very, very close to the psychedelic trance, you know, it's almost the, the, the same thing, like the sound and the psychedelic in one thing, one what, sound. Uh, what is okay? What, let's start by this. What is because we understand? I understand. Like I think everybody understands by the first, you know, the first meaning of something psychedelic or something trans comes from transcendental. That it's something that's like an abstraction, right? So I'm not right. in, in my in my in my natural conscience. I sort of go away like a trip, mm -hmm. you know, spiritual trip, maybe something like this. Or yeah, uh, trance uh, brings some, as I as I said before, trance brings uh, different styles for the music, and you can say like uh, Indian music has a very oh, spiritual that go, elements. That go on. Yeah, you can yes. you can surf in the sounds, mm -hmm. and it has it unique spiritual spiritual thing you Where know you don't need come from india right come from india yeah like we can dive into the history when we're saying about uh trance because it grew up from goa that is a city uh in india and it is also a style of music you know and it, it it has a very spiritual thing, very sp spiritual elements, and something that it's like hypno, no? as I said before, it's yeah. unique, you know. And I want to to demystify something here because some people, or maybe most of people, associate psychedelic with drugs, no. And I, for mm -hmm. example, 
I don't use drugs at all, and I I love psychedelic music precisely precisely because of this because it's sort of abstraction for me mm -hmm. without the use of drugs. So I can have this abstraction as an artist. You no, know, when I want to to have to stimulate my creativity just by the sound of the music, the music mm -hmm. takes me to another place. And uh, it, mm -hmm. why do you think there is this association? And well, what is your opinion? What is your so, view? Uh... I've searched a lot, and in the beginning of all this style, all this kind of music, uh, you can say there was a hippie movement in India, and uh -huh. those people really used a lot of drugs, but for sure you don't need to use anything to the, enjoy the music, the, you know, for sure. You mean, right? The LSD? The, the... the LSD and another drugs. Okay, it okay. was very common common in this this time but nowadays uh psytrance is not just the this kind of lsd thing and psychedelic in this way nowadays some uh some tracks and some music bring like a science fiction style yeah. you know and it's exactly. very unique very very unique yeah, I, I wrote an article once and i said that it, a lot of types of music influenced me because I'm a composer as well. You know, I'm not a professional musician, but it's one of the most important things in my life. And well, there was a time that I composed like almost 50 songs in Paris. And well, I was trying to understand my influences. And I said, well, among them, Bossa Nova, Flamenco, mm -hmm. from and Tango. And the psychedelic music was like, it was my abstraction or my doses of um, like, let me go, just let me go by the music, only mm -hmm. by the music by listening to good music, right? Like heavy metal, for example, as well, for some people, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, right. What, uh, can you can you can you name some some uh, references of uh, psycho sure. psycho trans music who are like the, you know, the popes of the, the psycho the psy, psy yeah. Yeah, music today, for, for example, sure. or, the best, or the best, the best references. Uh, in my opinion, there is a bunch of awesome artists uh mainly in brazil brazil it's like really uh, brazil uh, it's a yeah perfect yeah. place wow. for side trends it's i well i thought it was like north europe for example like germany mm -hmm. uk you can say it brazil it's too, like as well south america or in latin america it would be brazil for example brazil it is a perfect place uh, for psytrance producers, you you can you can say like burning noise, altruism, uh, Blazy, which is a very young producer so you are artist. In the right place. You are in the right place. <laughs> yeah, very very. He is a very very young artist. Uh, his name is Enrique. I really want to meet him someday. You can say Blazy, out of vortex, burning noise, altruism. Zahar, that is from my city, from Belo Horizonte. Our city. Uh, Ohara, that is my teacher, my friend, very good producer. And it is a perfect place because we have a good weather. Weather, you know, like the time, it's good. Very uh, hot over here. Uh, because of, because it's associated with rave parties as well, right? Yeah, open air oh, parties yeah. and... Like in Israel, I think in Israel as well, there are a lot yeah, of... Yeah, it is a, an awesome place as well. That's in Israel, you have music, yeah. a bunch of the best producers in the history, like Loud, Loud uh, Ace Ventura, Captain Hook, Captain Rook. My favorite one is Freedom Fighters. I, I love, I really, really love his style and... I could say like 100 other artists from Israel. There how, did is... get, how did you get to love this type of music? Because you're not even the prototype. You know, you study technician in in, in mechanic, right? Like a, Mechanics. Like a I, specific I... shaped mind. And uh -huh. well, you were supported of Cruzeiro, Sport Club. It's supposed to be like yeah. a boy. <laughs> So, so how did it happen to come to you? By the way, I like psychedelic music as well as I told in the beginning. So how did it happen in your life? How did you get the, you know, the taste for, for it? 
it was so, either a friend or just you know yeah my father my ah. mother my sister okay. like Family. my father and my mother loves they they really love uh rock such as pink floyd and beatles uh beatles and it's very psychedelic yeah and th don't, don't this is very them. psychedelic kind of music you know yeah, yeah. the wall and since i was very young they were listen next to me and it it started something inside of me you know okay. and my sister my sister is one of my heroes oh. she went for two two she went two times for one of the biggest festivals in brazil like it is the the biggest festival in latin america probably and i i can i show you sure sure let's go this the postcard the oh okay. the poster of this awesome huge festival it is where universo was, paralelo where was the festival where it take place did it take place it happens in Pratigi. It was in 2023. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, but... there are a little reflex, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and she she told me it was simply amazing. It was you didn't awesome, go, you know. You didn't go with her. I really want to go. <laughs> I really, really want to go. Because it's not just about the music. It's just... It's about culture and lifestyle, of course. Everything. It's about the culture, it's something. Lifestyle, of course, of course, of course. And in your and... day, uh, being part of this movement, does it change something? Because there are a lot of movements. I remember when I lived in Paris, for example, it was the generation tectonique. Um, mm. and it was like, you know, going to the squares and join with friends and dancing tecton tectonique. And it's it was not only about mm -hmm. dancing; it was about a lot of things. Does it have dance as well, like special dance for, or for like for example, when you think about rock in the sixties, there is like special dance for rock. There is mm -hmm. a special dance for salsa, for you know, for samba. It's associated with dance as well with dancing. Mm -hmm. How about um, uh, psycho trance and trance and psychedelic music? Psychedelic. It, it, Oh, normally you don't dance it's more like quiet and calm right you are free you are free to dance like you want to express yourself and feel free to enjoy the music and the dance you are just free it was it was you know? amazing the way you said you are free you had such a, <laughs> a full, you are so fulfilled you know <laughs> i love this I thing i love to feel free because okay so if you're alone in your room dance. for example and you start to listen to psycho trance music what 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 normally do you do, do you lie down in your bed do you dance i do love you... to to jump and okay. jump and jump and jump and it there is are, awesome it's a therapy as well okay exactly exactly you are free to dance like you want the the mainly uh values uh values values of uh, values of psy trans is union union respect love peace you are free to dance if you respect everybody around you you are free to to enjoy the music this is the union, you know, I love this. How about the movement in your city, in Belo Horizonte? Are there good places where people get together to listen, to dance, to perform, DJs? Are there clubs, nightclubs? There are like... Yeah, there, there are a bunch of clubs in Belo Horizonte. One of them is De Puta Madre. It is a closed club and it is... I, I went there once. And it was awesome. I list, I I saw Chija, one of Belo Horizonte artists, the, one of the most famous ones, and it was awesome. Belo Horizonte have has open open rave bodies and closed clubs. As and, well. by the, and by the way, let me put a parenthesis here with all the respect to the audience, because both of us, we speak Portuguese, we are from the same city, but we, we want that this interview can reach more people 
you know, as possible. And of course, well, English is the language that everybody can understand around the world. And uh, uh, I want, I wanted to, I would like to know about yourself, about your process of composing. Uh, where do you get inspiration from? Uh, do you comp do you sit down to compose, or it just comes naturally? How do sure. you compose? A like I, I'm still learning for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. you're... As an artist, you always, yeah. always gonna be learning. Let me tell you, <laughs> never. Yeah, you're always always learning, practicing. I have uh, a good friend that teaches me a lot of music, and when when I'm producing, I like to sit, uh, be very calm, and listen to a lot of different styles of music and let the inspiration come in, you know, uh -huh. and start producing, uh, watching uh, classes, video classes, and doing my stuff, you know. Can you show <laughs> us in... something that you are composing or that you compose? Yeah, possible. for sure. Let's see I that. will connect my phone. I think the light will be a little bit darker no for no one problem. second. Yeah. But I have one release for this month I would like okay. to show you. Hey, let's let's okay. take a look. Let's take a let's listen into what um Arthur, uh, a DJ from Belo Horizonte Brazil is composing now he's going to show us. And Camel 12, I choose this name because I am a really big fan of Ayrton Senna. Ah, you know? wow! You're, you Senna. just became 20 years old and uh, he died like maybe 30 years old before, no? Yeah. If I drunk, something like this, and you're a fan of uh, Senna. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, my father, since I was young, always told me about Did anybody tell that this... you were you were born in the wrong generation? <laughs> you should be born. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I was maybe. like this when I was when I was a teenager I used to listen to Bossa Nova and my mm -hmm. a friend of mine from Belo Horizonte told me você escuta música de velho eu falei I escuta I don't translate this into English because it's not very kind I said no I listen to music of good quality because I appreciate music yeah. and all the time I tried everything and I really understand when I when I studied music seriously in Paris you know I went to music music school as well and I understood classical music and it was directly coming from you know Debussy and well music is something mm -hmm. that yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I understand you. I really I really do. Because yeah. my father since I was young, young told me about him and his incredible history and all the races he won, mm -hmm. you know? And I am a and real inspiration for for big, uh, you know, not only for Brazilians but for the whole world, even for his mm -hmm. even for his Enemies, let's say like this, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, Alan Post. Uh, he, he, Mark, he has Mark, uh, he awesome was, history, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. he is a real hero because he has done a lot of good things for many people. You know, help he helped a lot of yeah. people. So the relation between Camel Twelve. It's linked so, to Senna. <laughs> yeah, it's directly linked to him. But why Camel? Because I saw some photos and when he was racing for Lotus, the the, the big brand of Lotus, yeah. he had a car, a yellow race car with the Camel advertisement, advertisement you know? Yeah. And the number was 12 uh, and I and I, well, and I, I said to myself I love this guy I I I would like to be one person of what he was you know I well, love I, he's my inspiration for more than one person because you're a very talented young man and very like with good uh, good uh, ideas and good ambitions
Thank and, you. Uh, and someone who works a lot and well, it's a totally, don't worry, you're more than 1%. <laughs> Thank you. Much Thank more you. indeed, yeah. How do you see yourself in the future? Do you see, because you're like, probably you're going to study engineering if you follow mechanica, no mechanica, like it's totally different from, mm -hmm. from an artistic career, you know. How do you see yourself in the future? Do you see yourself uh, traveling the world as a DJ, living in Germany or in Europa? And how That's do you see my dream. That's yeah. <laughs> my my dream. I want to travel worldwide. I want to meet new people. I want to listen to new music styles. It is the, the biggest part of the dream. I want to to be part of the world. You know, I want to show my music everywhere, and I hope the people like. But I'm doing this for myself. Well, show and your music, really. For the world, you know, I want to show what I can do, what I, I, I'm trying to learn, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the best, I think the best part of everything will be travel and see the, the smile in the people's face. You yeah, know, the yeah, best part of everything. In our lives, you know, it's like part of everything. It's like, uh, yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember some concerts that I've been all, 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 all over the world and well, it's like a really big celebration and we can really heal the soul and clean all the pain, yeah. you know, really very important, you know. So show us if something. I can, if you have something. If I can do this with my songs, it will be well, my it, dream, you know. It's a good passport for you, you know. Art is also yeah. all very good passport to, to go around the world, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from the front door. Of course. Because... And music heals people, right? Heals people. Of course. And I think that uh, it's very important that type of music that you can stop stop to be like, you know, reacting to the to the to the impulses of the world all the time and look inside yourself and see who you are and exploring your you know your own frontiers, inner frontiers, you know. Yeah. That you don't, don't even imagine. You know that I wrote a psychedelic song. I, I didn't tell really? you before. I didn't tell you that before. Yes. Really? <laughs> but it's like uh, it's like um, uh, it, you know it's a very special moment. Uh, I, I composed in Paris. Yeah, I composed with a friend, and uh, there is a, a lot of I'll tell you another moment in private maybe okay. because I didn't okay. talk about. I, I'm not doing my biography at all. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, no, it's part me, of everything. Music is therapeutic, you know? I always like write songs about things. I always say, I, I make a joke. Of course, it's a joke. I say every time I write a song, I avoid one year in the, in the, of psych psychoanalysis, for example. You see? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and but, uh, I, I really want to say that it is I'll, part of Psytrance because. I'll, I'll let you, yeah, it's a, it's a psychedelic song. Well, it's not only psychedelic, but it has like a big influence, like more than 50%. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, well, normally I, I like to compose with other artists. I'm not composing now, I'm talking about a few years ago, especially when I was in Paris, living in Paris, but I like to compose with other people because normally, for example, when you have your style, and uh, someone else comes with another style, so you make like something so beautiful, you know, the result is awesome. Like you said, that you mm -hmm. compose with your teacher, that you like to share with your teacher, you know, and mm -hmm. we are all teaching and learning from other people, you know, so. I want to say that this okay. thing you was talking about, it is part of Psytrance, like uh, with the trans evolution, some new subgenders and styles, uh, grew up and there is a style called dark progressive dark psytrance and it explores the the how can i say it like the dark part of the soul the dark part of the the the, the person and in a lot of different that, ways you know and it's not can, just melodic not that's just happy interesting. that i think we should all all of us we should explore our dark side in order to clean it, in order to deal with yeah. it in a good way. Because if you yeah. explore your dark side when you have anger in bad moments, you can become exactly. some violent, aggressive. But I think we should deal with our dark sides uh, in an artistic, 
a therapeutic way, explore it and clean it and let it out, you know, the anger, the resentment and all the things that's maybe hurting us. And yeah. it oh, is by the way, music, totally uh, music has, these, uh, has had this role in my life. You know, I could I could really understand myself much better when I connected with music. And mm -hmm. I spent almost one year basically doing only music and living on music and, you know, like composing a lot. I was like in Paris, it was my first mm -hmm. year in Paris. And it was such a beautiful experience to me. It was like a gap year. You know, I call it a sabbatical year, anu sabbatical. Mm -hmm. And it was really very, very interesting because I, I, I changed it as a person, you know. I was another person after that experience. Mm -hmm. And it, it is perfect. Like uh, yeah. when you you are feeling this kind of emotion emotion the side trance lets you feel free and dance and let everything out you know it's it is the best part of is of it you can dance you can you can scream you know it is a very powerful style and you you can do this you can let if all the all the feelings go out and you clean your soul it is the best part of psytrance it is union it is respect it is kindness i think that this is psytrance this is trance this is psychedelic it is the the mix of good things inside of us and the bad things and clean the bad things you know let everything's out you know yeah very good okay <laughs> thank you so much for, for sharing part of your art with us we are listening now some of his song here and well uh and well i i i wish i really wish you all the best never give up keep walking keep okay such a, a young because you know this generation today is a little bit lost, you know, because everything is so easy today. We have so much yeah. information, access to everything, you know, so like it's a really like a very, very like um, you're very, you're a very good. You, you might be a very good inspiration for your generation. So don't forget this. Try to be an okay. ear for, <laughs> for the next generation to come. And music is one okay. of the possibilities to get there. I will be, I will try to be my best and I will chase my dream because it is all, all, all this is part of the dream, you know. I, I want to be part of this incredible history and journey of psytrance. I want to to be one of the best, and I, I wish you can scream and dance a lot of with my my songs, my tracks, you know. <laughs> Very good. Well, I spoke to Arthur Leon with alias a uh, Camel Twelve. And well, he's a DJ. He's from Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Thanks a lot. Thanks for sharing with us. I wait for you next episode here in Galactica Radio and Radio and TV from Argentina to the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>